Hello, HQTs. Now, when I go out, I want to go out dancing. Who is bumping Kylie's album right now? It is so great to see our girl back at the top of the charts with her first number one album in eight years. She may not have the gold hot pants this time, but she is golden, all right, with a country twang and all. So who's going for the gold tonight? I'm Shazza Carpenter, your sparkly show host and quality question queen. This is HQ Trivia, where you use your head to win that bread. Here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a series of questions ranging from easy to hard. You have 10 seconds to tap the answer. If you get it correct, you move on, answer all 12 right, and you win or split the pot. Today's prize is an Aussie-licious £550. That will get you enough country dancing lessons to be in Kylie's next music vid, a sparkling cowgirl or boy outfit and matching boots with spurs. But before you kick it, you've got to win it. Let's get this party started with Q1. Here we go. According to the nursery rhyme, what did Jack and Jill fetch from up the hill? The kids from school, a box of buckets, a pail of water. It wasn't a very successful mission. But what did they go up there? to fetch. The school run is pretty treacherous, but Jack and Jill were only kids themselves. Not really worth cracking your skull over. It was a pail of water. That's what it was. 86,596 of you have a successful mission there on Q1. Now, the term Jack and Jill has been used to indicate a boy and a girl for centuries, even appearing in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Hopefully he didn't crack his crown there. Q2. The capital city of which of these countries does not begin with the letter W? Poland, England, USA. What does begin with W? Winners, baby. That's what. Well, this should weed out any Americans playing in the wrong show, no matter how you pronounce it. There's no W in this country's capital, London. England, of course, is your winning answer right there. Some of you took the L right there, but 82,000. 464 of you taking the W. Now, Poland clearly likes its Ws. Not only does Warsaw begin with a W, it also ends with one. Doesn't it? Fun fact right there. HQTs, do not forget we've got our delicious Sunday roast special tomorrow. Yeah, we do. At 3 p.m., we are giving away a mega £8,000 prize. You know what that means. It's time to stock up on those extra lives for extra chances to win. Don't miss out on the Wonga. All right, back to Q3. Have you tried turning it off and on again is a long-running joke from which sitcom spaced the IT crowd, Father Ted. Well, have you? Have you tried turning it off and on again? If it's spiritual advice or an exorcism you're after, then Father Ted will be grand. But for this level of tech support, best to call the IT crowd. That's right, 71,943 of you still in the IT crowd. The show may be mocking IT support here, but it's actually surprising how often turning it off and on again actually does work, doesn't it? You know what time it is. It's shout-out time. I want to say hello to Jason and Dad in Lincoln, for Hana, Andy and James, Harriet from Loughborough, hello. Andrew McWilliams and the crew currently at his stag do. Have fun, but not too much fun, OK? Hello to Nadia, Jade and Pete. Hope you have fun at the club. Popping bottles later. Hopefully, you'll have reason to celebrate. But for now, Q4. Which saint gives his name to one of the terms of the English legal year? Jerome, Genesius. Hillary. Any judges in the game right now? We'll know the answer to this one. Typical lawyers, they can't even keep the four seasons simple. The patron saint of shouting objection, it's Hillary. That is your winning answer right there. And an absolutely savage question here on Q4. My goodness, I cannot believe what I am seeing. 60,000 players gone in one fell swoop here just on Q4. 9,838 of you are still hanging tight. Now, the legal year split into five terms. Hillary, Easter, Trinity, Michaelmas and a two-month vacation you know you're paying for. You know you are. Q5. What is the usual length of the track in an indoor hurdling race? 50 metres, 60 metres, 70 metres... Are you going to make it over this hurdle after that sausage question? 
Hurdlers can jump over obstacles. They can't jump through walls, though. Running just over half the race in just over half the time. 60 meters. That's how long it usually is. 6,999 of you going the distance here. Women and men run the same distance behind closed doors, but outside the men have to run a massive 10 extra meters. Q6, which of these is the highest is the highest Royal Air Force rank? Air Commodore, Wing Commander, Air Marshal. Who's gonna be flying high after this one? They're all high flyers, but which officer is practically in orbit, bossing the sky itself about? It's Air Marshal. That's what we're talking about here. 3,227 of you flying high as the third highest rank in the RAF British Air Marshals travel in style, while US Air Marshals have to suck it up and travel in economy class. That's no fun. Q7. Which of these actresses has not founded a beauty brand? Jessica Alba, Drew Barrymore, Emma Stone. All of them lovely and talented actresses. A trio of Hollywood hotties, but who is missing out on the beauty box? Why go for makeup when a natural good looks will have you in La La Land? Emma Stone. Hopefully you're not stone-faced over, over this one. 1,962 of your beauties are moving on. Alba founded Honest Beauty, while Barrymore founded the cruelty-free brand Flower Beauty. Q8, the Indonesian flag replicates that of which of these European countries when turned upside down? Netherlands, Poland, Ukraine. Let's turn that frown upside down right now, players. Three simple European emblems, but which one is Indonesia's topsy-turvy twin? Red over white, or is it white over red? It's Polska. Poland is your winning answer. 957 of you flying your flags high here. Early Polish flags included a white eagle on a red shield, which must have looked pretty weird upside down on Indonesia's flag. Q9, which of the following ranked highest on IGN UK's latest top 100 video games of all time list? Resident Evil, The Legend of Zelda, Call of Duty 4. What do you think, players? We love to shoot baddies and zombies, but neither can compete with the buzz of saving a princess. That's always fun. Link's original journey is the legend of Zelda. 550, one of you saving yourselves here. Super Mario World topped the list, so the only thing better than saving a princess is doing it dressed as a plumber or a carpenter. Q10, which of the following countries has been colonized or ruled by the British Empire? Burundi, Tuvalu, Marshall Islands. Burundi, Tuvalu, Marshall Islands. There are only 22 countries in the world that we haven't claimed at some point. The Pacific Island that used to be one of us, Tuvalu is your winning answer. 176 if you got that correct. Tuvalu may be independent now, but there's still a tribe on the island that genuinely worships Prince Philip as a god. True story. Q11, just two questions to go. Which of these former British prime ministers did not serve as home secretary? Harold Wilson, Herbert Asquith, James Callaghan. Didn't do the double duty here. He may have sat in number 10 twice, but the closest he got to this office was Shadow Foreign Secretary, never answering the phone at home. Harold Wilson is our guy. 65 of you getting that one right. You are the boss right now, because we are moving on to the final round. 65 players left in the game. Seven additional players using their extra lives to get back in. 550 pounds sterling up for grabs as we speak. Which of these movie first actually happened first? First drive-in movie, first movie shown on TV, first 3D movie. Who's gonna be the first to take it home tonight? Hopefully you. There was something special about 1922's The Power of Love. You'd have to wait till at least 1933 to watch it on your TV and a couple of months more to watch it from your car. Dust off those blue and red glasses is the first 3D movie for the win. We have 15 winners, my lovelies. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Nice one, players. 15 winners. Congratulations. You should be feeling really ecstatic right now, like FJ is right there, who's taking home six, six, 36 pounds and 67 P. Uh, we've got Throbo 92 as well, looking like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle right there. Polar Blue, we've got VBNNR as well, and a bunch more players, a bunch more winners. Well done, guys. What are you going to do with the cash? You could maybe get some of those 3D glasses and live life in 6D. Why not? Worship Prince Philip as a god in Tuvalu. So much you can do with that cash. What a game, my HQTs. You came, you played, you conquered. I'm Shazza Carpenter, and you can find me right here on the socials. Hit me up and say hello. That's it for tonight, but join me back here tomorrow at 3 p.m. for a go at that whopping 8 thousand pound prize that is the mega money right there have a wonderful evening my lovelies and i will see you tomorrow bye <laughs>